Every now and then I get uh, questions about the SR-314 and the POPs. So, I've done videos on this, you can search on my channel about uh, POPs. And the best thing to do is uh, minimize them at source with your technique and where you hold it and placement and all that kind of thing. Because all, all microphones pop. Uh, unless you put a sheet of glass or something in front of them. Then, <laughs> However, I can understand a couple of things. One is that if you're particularly poppy for some reason, uh, it's a pain in the neck to have to work in some technique. And it's distracting when you're performing and all the rest of it. If you, you know, I can understand that. What else can you do? It's a lovely looking mic. I, with students, some, one of some of them quite poppy. I use this, which is a bio, just happens to fit quite nicely, and it's quite thin, which is a biodynamic, I believe, M700 foam, which might be difficult to get hold of because the M700 is from the 80s and hasn't been made since then. So it probably must have been old stock, not crumbling or anything, it's fine. But of course, it doesn't look too good. Well, it looks better than some huge thing but nonetheless if you've got a mic like this perhaps you don't want that on there so something I thought I'd try there's not much room here for fiddling about underneath so I thought I'd try this which again is from Biodynamic it's quite thin fine and if you can see foam I don't know what that's for it says just in case after I've done this you decide you want to try. Well, it's got a number which says 18222. It's all a bit faded. 18222. Unfortunately, the rest of it I can't read. I'll scrutinise it and put it um, at the end of the video when I edit it. Uh, all uh, whatever I can make out that's on there. If you think it works, we'll see. Now, there's no room for all of that. I mean, it's got, you know, you can see the shape of it. You can bend it round, but it's too big. So I've, rather crudely, I wish I'd done it better, but I haven't cut it out. And it can just about fit in there under the biscuit thing, if you take this off. So what I'll do, I'll just go through with this, um, then with this, and then with this, and you can see whether it's worth having a go. What do you think for yourself? Here I am then on the 314. Crackly desk. Here I am on the 314. Here I am on the 314. Peter Piper picked a peck. Yeah, so Peter Piper picked a peck. Of course, if you do that, I find it, I find it okay. But I know if people do that, you can hear that. Who do you think you're fooling? Who, who, who do you think you're fooling? Who, 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 who? Peter Piper picked. I can hear my headphones cracking away as I hit the end stops. Mm -hmm. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. Well, I hear, I don't hear the clicking there. So it's obviously working. Who do you think you're fooling? Who do you think you're fooling? Who do you think you're fooling? So for students for recording, if they're noisy, they'll just stick this on so it doesn't make them miserable having to, one of them just wouldn't do what I said. What's it? What you trying to, what, what are they going to do? Oh, yeah. Poof, poof, poof. Why don't you... Poof, poof, poof. What are you going to do? You have to use something. That's the sound of this, then. So, I'll go on to the next one. Um, cut the video, obviously, and install this. I'll show you how, how I do it. Excuse me. I've got a cold. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. I was a little bit clumsy. with my, um, when I was fiddling about with the inner uh, section here, and I bent it a little, I had to bend it straight again. It's not a disaster, but be careful. Do I need to do this? Yes, I do. Mine's quite a tight fit anyway. So you need to get this out. So mine's got a little bit skew whiff from um, trying to push the thing in a bent it but uh, gradually I shall sit with a I'm on, not drinking at the moment I'm having a, a month off but uh, it's the kind of thing where you sit with a glass of wine and just uh, tease everything back into shape 
So do be careful with that. I must say, I don't think it makes any difference, really. But it's just nice to have things. Anyway, because what I was doing is I put that and then tried to shove that with that, and it buckled, of course. So you me. So you need to take this off as well. And there's your biscuit thing. So the idea is to shove that in there. Having got it down, so now I've got that. Just that extra layer. Then I can put this back. Which doesn't quite, only just touches it. So it's looking like that. And then put the top back on. If you, it, of course, you can, well, in certain light. I haven't got it. I've got a little bit of an angle, so there's more down one side. So if if you decide to do this, obviously you measure, well, not measure, but cut it very carefully, and just get things. So you you probably get to a point where you couldn't really see it at all. I mean, it's obviously much less obvious than anything else. But does it does it do any good? Let's see. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Who do you think you're fooling? Who? Who? Who do you think you're fooling? Who do you think you're fooling? Who do you think you're fooling? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. I hear a little bit of clicking there. So not as good as this. And nowhere near as thick as this. So, you've seen what it's like, there's not much room. You could probably take something thicker than this. You could probably take this and cut it down and just have that for a bit more or possibly two layers of that. I don't know. Anyway, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Here I am on the 314. Peter Piper picked a peck. Yeah, so Peter Piper picked a peck. Of course, if you do that, I find it I find it okay. But I know if people do that, you can hear that. Who do you think you're fooling? Who, who, who do you think you're fooling? Who, 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 who? Peter Piper picked. I can hear my headphones cracking away as I hit the end stops. Mm -hmm. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. Well, I hear, I don't hear the clicking there. So it's obviously working. Who do you think you're fooling? Who do you think you're fooling? Who do you think you're fooling? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Who do you think you're fooling? Who? Who? Who do you think you're fooling? Who do you think you're fooling? Who do you think you're fooling? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked... Yeah, Peter Piper... So it's better. It's better. Have a go. That and careful technique. And it'll be sorted. Yeah, I can see that you don't really want something on... If you've got to buy a mic that looks like this, you don't really want something stuck on the top of it, do you? So um, have a little go. You might have to buy a few different types of foam and see how you get on. Bon chance.